So when we look at Verizon, how mature they are when it comes to open source, what I'm asking you is how easy or difficult your job is there. Uh, just give us a status of open source at Verizon. I think um, large companies like this are all very, very complex and, and very different in different parts. And so we have a ton of extremely experienced engineers and very mature processes around open source end to end. So there is a lot that is going well. But as always, when you come in and you come in, obviously I come in with a lot of opinions and a lot of just my background of how I do things versus how a company that has been doing telco, if you look at the predecessor companies for 20, 30 plus years, I have many coworkers who've been there for 25, 35, 40, 45 years. Um, there is a lot of, of institutional knowledge and institutional practices. And if you're trying to nudge those to something that is more modern, more aligned to the way we think about supply chains today, for example, there, there are fascinating, let's call them opportunities uh, uh, there to create change. And there are interesting problems to solve. I, 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 one of the jokes that I always make is when, when, you, when you talk to people about their company and say, so how many data centers do you have in your company? And they say, oh, we are big. We have like nine data centers. Yeah, we have about 65,000. Every cell tower is a data center, has a rack, has a bunch of servers, has software stacks running on it. And so if you look at the scale, a lot of the things that we think about in open source are like two orders of magnitude smaller in how they're how they approaching this. So there is a lot of really cool technology and a lot of really cool opportunity to do new things. And that's why I'm excited about my job. What kind of changes, major changes are happening in these couriers, network operators, where they are really a lot of software defined networks, they are using a lot of open source. And, and how much open source are you seeing internally? So um, that is an area that is a little harder for me to talk about because there is, of course, a lot of competitive and, and very company specific detail here that I, I, I can't disclose. But what you need to think about is that in the telco space, everything is standards based. And especially in the 5G space, a lot of these things are open standards and are based on collaborative technologies. And so on every step of the way, as, as a telco, you think about where, where are the things where the, the open software stack gives you what you need and where are the things where you're almost required to build your own solutions that fit specifically to how your network is laid out, how you interact with your customers, how you're connecting the different services together. So there is this interesting balance between things that are open standards, open technologies, that are truly open source, and that are certainly your proprietary layer that ensures that you have the most reliable network in the nation. And that is you know, at the core of everything that we do. That is the first thought and the second thought and the third thought. How can we make sure we continue to have the most reliable network? And everything else then becomes, the becomes a consequence of that. We don't lead with, oh, we want to do this in open source. Yeah. We lead with, we have the most reliable network. Right.